Hey there, folks. Started like uh, 30 seconds early, I think, but it's, oh well, it's late. <laughs> so the game I have here today is called uh, Space Warp. This is, Radio Shack didn't sell that many games. I mean, like, they had a bunch, but like not a huge amount. And so if you bought Invasion Force and you also bought Space Warp, I'm sure you'd think they were two completely different games. And the truth is they are different, but they're both based off the same, you know, Star Wars made Star Trek, sorry, not Star Wars. Star Trek mainframe game from 1971. Although this one's a little bit different because it's real time. It was created by Personal Software. Personal Software is best known for um, creating VisiCalc, I believe, and then they became uh, basically VisiCalc software. <laughs> I think they changed their name to something like that. Um, and uh, they also were the original publisher of Zork. That's another thing they're known for. They made a bunch of other good games. Most of them published through Radio Shack, although I think a lot of them were published originally f directly by personal software. So this game supposedly is copyright 1978. If you look at the beginning of the manual, uh, though it says the program's copyright 1979, 1980. I'm guessing there may have been an original release by personal software first, but regardless, don't know. But anyway, this is, this is it. The game came like this. Uh, here's the manual. And, and then it came with this cassette tape which I got right here. So I basically loaded the cassette tape into the computer and I'm going to, it's an audio file and I'm going to load it up here in the TRS-81 emulator. Hey, Green Raccoon, you just subscribed a few minutes ago, you're notified of the stream. I actually just got a notification that you just subscribed. So thank you for subscribing first of all, I appreciate it. And so I thought it was the opposite. I figured you saw the stream, you, you then joined and then you subscribed. <laughs> But I guess you subscribed before that, so I'm curious what made you subscribe. I'd appreciate it very much. All right, so loading up this 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 is a TRS-80 basically without a disk drive the way it's emulated right now. So I type system, and then uh, what was the command to load it up? It was SP War. So type SP War, hit play on the the uh, cassette drive here. And then uh, we can see on the upper right-hand corner, there's like asterisk with a double asterisk switching back and forth. That was the TRS-80 equivalent of a loading screen for we have, you know, today for like uh, the PS4, I guess. The PS5 theoretically doesn't have them, they say, so uh, I can't make fun of the PS5. But this is the equivalent of the loading screen. This is not a very long load here, so don't worry about it. But uh, you'll see pretty quickly this game is, is pretty difficult. Oh, by the way, this game is supposed to have sound. Somebody commented on my Invasion 4 stream that there was no sound. I don't think that was supposed to have sound, but this one definitely is supposed to have sound. And I'm not sure if when I played it before there actually was sound. There may not have been. So there's supposed to be sound like when your ship explodes, which will happen pretty often. <laughs> so if there's no sound, um, then I'll have to fix that, I guess, and, and figure out why. But uh, it's something with the emulator, theoretically. So, um... Oh, he's just subbed after watching my Star Trek 20th Anniversary Let's Play. Awesome. Good good to have you on the channel, Green Raccoon. I appreciate it. And yeah, so uh, I've, I've been to Star Trek a lot. Actually, the reason why I started this stream late is because I was just finishing watching Season 2 of Star Trek Discovery. And uh, a lot of people that are like purists in Star Trek hate Discovery, apparently. I sort of enjoy it, although I must say that some of the science is not quite as good as it was like in the original series, the original series, they had like real serious science fiction writers and people like Isaac Asimov consulting. And, and now they have like, uh, just, just writers, you know, like star Wars writers, basically. All right. So this is copyright 1978. Which level do you want to play? The, what is the easiest level? So let's start at that first, just to get a ha hang of this game here. So my mission is destroy the fleet of seven Jovian ships before they destroy the eight United planet system bases. So it sounds just like their other Star Trek game. The Jovians are supposed to be the Klingons. United Planet is the Federation. And uh, basically, that's it, except you'll see that it looks pretty different. So I, I'm this V. I'm the V. It doesn't really look like the Enterprise, but I'm, I'm the V. And I use the arrow keys to move my ship around in space in real time. So that's very different than the other games where it was, like, super hard to navigate. Everything here is real time. So actually, I'll, we'll see really quickly if there's a sound or not. Here, I'll just fly to the star. Oh, there was a sound. <laughs> the Endeavor is burnt to a crisp. So the Endeavor being the Enterprise, which is burnt to a crisp because I flew into the star. G GP2K00 says it was originally re released independently as Time Trek. Oh, very interesting. 
I've heard of Time Track, and I did not realize that was the same game, so that's really good info. I figured this must have had a separate personal software release, but I had not seen it, so now I have to check out Time Track as well. Um, do you know, by the way, if the original release, like they were called the Enterprise, or was it always like the Endeavor and these other stupid names? GP2K00, sorry, your, your name is a little bit hard to pronounce, but uh, if, you, if you have that info, let me know. So let's play again. Um, now usually what happens here is even if I start at the easiest difficulty, they put me in a sector with a bunch of Klingons just blow my brains out right away. Let's see if that happens this time. So seven ships, ten bases. All right, so I got lucky. The problem here in this game is I played Super Star Trek the other day. Today we're still trekking, correct, Green Raccoon? I don't always trek, but today is still a trek day. Um, yesterday I actually streamed an adventure game, which is not a, not anything related to Trek at all, but today I'm back to Trek for now. Um, so the thing about this is that there's the commands are all numbers, so unlike Super Star Trek I played the other day, that sucks, the original used all the Star Trek names, or I gotta, f I gotta find the original then, uh, but this one's obviously really easy to find because these, all these uh, Radio Shack releases are pretty common. So anyway, um, what was I saying? Super Star Trek, you typed in words to move. So you type in, let's say, NAV to navigate. Here they're all numbers, and you have to remember which one it is. They're telling me right now, base at 01 is being attacked. So if I can remember, I think 2 is set course. Set course was 0, 1. All right, so I'm being, like, shot at... They just shot the base right away before I had a chance to do anything. And they're shooting me, and I'm, like, flying around. They blew up the base already. See, I don't even remember the command to shoot them. That's the problem. So, like... I know how to dodge a little bit, but you see, I can't dodge. They're, they're, first of all, I'm moving really slow. They're really good at shooting me. Well, I think I dodged that time. <laughs> but unless I remember the commands to shoot him. Oh, he left. Okay. He got tired of taking pot shots at me. He just left. I have to remember the commands actually to shoot them. So I think it's like, there's only like six commands. Let me, let me look it up quickly. So, uh, one is damage report. So that's my damage here. There are only nine bases left now. Two is hyperdrive. That's all what I actually sort of figured out. Three is scanners. So it's a long-range scan. So I can look and see E is where I am. B is the bases. The one the ones with ones are where there's, we know there's Klingons. One of them's attacking the base at, at one comma five. And then four is deflectors. Five is masers instead of phasers. Six is triton missiles instead of um, photon torpedoes. And then seven is self-destruct. So I got to remember six, five and six, basically. And then you also have to remember these angles, because when you try to use a command, they'll tell you, they'll ask you which which direction. So you have to remember zeros to the right and one eighty to the left. And it's not so easy to, to, to like do this in real time and actually hit these people. Okay, I'm gonna, okay base one comma six is SOS. Let's go there. So two, one comma six. Where am I? Okay, which is the, that's that guy. All right, so let's... Christ. <laughs> Man. Oh my god. <laughs> I use a I use a photon torpedo, which basically kills him in one shot. If I hadn't done that, like he would have killed me right away. Like I, I don't know how you're supposed to do this so damn fast. It's like the amount of I don't know. Like because he's moving too while I'm trying to type the keys in. Alright, let's do this again. Um and I'm getting killed too. Okay, I could dock with the base, by the way. And, and restore my health. But I can't get the missiles back. And now base number two is under attack. Alright, so I got my health back. Let's go two comma two. Alright, so I shot another missile. Try See, so this is the easy difficulty because I have the Triton missiles and I, there's more of them than I actually have of... There's fully five Jovians left. So theoretically, I can shoot them all with Triton missiles. But in the higher difficulties, you can't do that, obviously. Where's the, okay, so let's go to uh, 1, 5, right? I think that means that there's something there. 1, 5. And there he is. I'm shooting masers at him. So I... Come on. All right, I killed him, but he got the base first. The base is, like, so weak. <laughs> this this game is really hard. I'm curious if you... if GP2K00, you seem to know a lot about this. Have you played this game... Sounds like you have, and you must be, I'm assuming you must be better than I am, because this game is pretty damn hard. Alright, so now I don't know where there's any more, any more Jovians or Klingons, so I can sort of just hang out until something comes, or I can just, just go somewhere randomly. So I went to 4, 4. 
Uh, wait, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. All right, three is the right one. So there's four Jovians left and eight bases left. So I, probably I'll manage to kill them all before they get me. I could fly out of the quadrant, right? I oh, know I can't. I can't actually leave the quadrant. You've played Time Trek a lot, so do you have any helpful tips, or do I just like really suck at this? Because I, I feel like I just really suck. Uh, let's go to six comma six. Nothing here. Condition green. Oh, there's okay. There's a click on to my bottom right. So five comma seven. Oops, two five comma seven. All right, I shot the I shot a torpedo at him. I mean, that wasn't so bad. He didn't really hit me very badly. Seems like it is higher than level one, but I don't think the emulator is running too fast. Um, I mean, I theoretically the emulator is running like at the right speed. I mean, it's it's really impossible for me to tell for sure, but it says it's running at uh, you know one x speed, and I don't think the, I don't think the level one, the level nine. I don't think that has actually has to do with the speed. I think that just controls. Let me kill this, by the way. I don't think that I think that just controls the. Um, the number of Klingons there are and the number of bases. So it's going to be super fast regardless. Let's go to four comma four. What would happen if you actually, if I actually win this thing and what happens if I win? So where are these guys? Let me go to a star base. I might as well. Let's go to five comma one and dock. I get my, oh, I'm already at 100% energy though, so it doesn't really do anything. In, in most of the other Star Trek games, you can get your you get your torpedoes back also when you dock, but here you don't. So there's really limited uh, utility to do that. And I'm just like now I'm just wandering around aimlessly. That's the other thing. In most of these Star Trek games, when you do the long range scan, it shows you. Well, here guys, it does too. It's showing me all the stuff around me, so I have to go fly to some other areas and see, do the long-range scan. All right, so now I can see the stuff around me as well. So if I keep moving around, either I'll fly into an area with Klingons or I'll find where the Klingons are, basically. Let's go to 3, 6. Nothing here. Nothing around me. Let's go to 6, 1. Nothing here. Eventually, I'll get the numbers right, too. Let's go to 6, 4. Nothing here. Okay, there's a Klingon in, in 7, 3. Let's go there, and then we'll use our photon torpedoes on him. Uh, 7, 3. Oops. <laughs> that 180. Oh, that was what? Okay. <laughs> I got confused. <laughs> I got confused when I was when I was shooting. I thought like I was the, I thought I was the zero and the V was the Klingon, but I'm actually the V. So what are the B's, zeros, M's, and E's? Green raccoon ass. So let's go back to that view. Uh, so the B's are the bases. The E is me. That's the Enterprise. The zeros is showing that around me there's no Klingons except for right below me there's one Klingon. So it says one over there. And the M's is some kind of uh, magnetic storm or something like that which disrupts your, your, your navigation or something like that. So, okay, let's go to 7, 3 and take out that one. 7, 3. All right, so the, the biggest problem with this, in my opinion, is that, like, if I, if I know I'm shooting to the right, it's easy for me to press 0 to aim to the right. But if I'm trying to do it, like, to the left, I have to have 180. That's three keys. And if it's some other weird odd angle, I first got to figure it out. I wish, like, I could use the... Right now, I'm using the arrows to move around. I wish I could also use the arrows to shoot. So if, like, I, if I like, press, like, you know, the, the, the phaser button, I could just hit the right key, and it'll shoot to the right. But it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Matt says it's actually kind of impressive. It's, oh, I'm going to go to 2 comma 2 quickly. There's only two Jovians left. Uh, let's see. 2 comma 2. Oh, I'm the, I always forget which one I am. Come on. No, no, no. Ah, oh, damn it. See, this is what I mean. Uh, 270. <laughs> damn you! He killed the base. See, by the time I figure out the controls, I'm dead. 
Pro tip, you don't need to press zero, just enter will do. So what does that mean? If I, if I, let's try that, hold on. Oh, that's, that's a good pro tip. Let's try six, not six, I don't want to waste, okay, I just wasted a missile, didn't I? Damn it. Oh, I ran into the star. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that! Damn it! See this? <laughs> Alright, we're going to do this one more time. This time I'm not going to run into stars. But I'm going to... <laughs> Let me finish reading Matt's comment. It's actually kind of impressive this in real time. That means it's multi-thread at least some level. I guess it means it couldn't have been developed in basic. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. So this, 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 the tape comes with level 1 and level 2. Um, two versions of the game. The level 2 is machine language, I think. But the level 1, I'm pretty sure, is in basic. Um, oh, I didn't try it. No, you're, you're, I'm wrong. It's just, this is... It's a machine language program, so you're, you're correct, Matt. It's not a basic game, so that's a good call for your, from your perspective. Well, let's try this again. I'm going to pick level one again. Let me try to shoot to the right. Degrees. Okay, that's, that is a good pro tip there. Uh, just enter will do. A G, GP2K00 confirms they're both machine language. All right, let's try this again. Oh, God, there's three of them above me. All right, you want to see me get killed again? Watch this. Here we go. Uh, two. Where am I? I forgot where I am. Uh, three. No, no. <laughs> one, co one comma zero. That's where I'm going. One comma zero. That's my strategy is just go to the left of them and kill them from the left side. What happened? What happened to him? I blew his, his brains out? He didn't really explode. I just blew the middle of him out. Well, that was pretty good. I did a good job there, though. Except I used up all my missiles. All right. This is a good pro tip, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, GP2K00. Oh, it warped out? That's what happened? Why was there, like, a couple of things left behind him? All right. Jeremy says, hey, Jeremy. Looks interesting. Gotta admit, the only Star Trek is ever played are the more modern ones. Never tried these ones before. So you're missing out, man. All right, let me. I, I have a hundred. I'm, I'm at hundred percent energy. That's the weird thing about this game is your energy regenerates without the bases, and the bases don't refuel your Triton missiles, your photon torpedoes. They're pretty useless. Sometimes they don't erase. Okay, interesting. Good to know. All right, we're, we're, let's see where I, where, let's see if I can actually beat this game. Uh, all right, there's one attacking the base at five comma seven. Where is it? Oh, God damn you. No, no, no. Why is there a control? Okay, that's interesting. First of all, why is there a control? Seven is to self-destruct. I get the why there's a self-destruct, but, like, I keep pressing it by accident. That's number one. Number two, that was interesting. The explosion actually damaged me, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. All right, let's go six comma three, SOS. All right, I'm, I'm really good at these Trident missiles firing to the right. Anything else, I get killed. Time Trek would recharge photon torpedoes. May, that's interesting. No, I don't think so, because um, I looked in the, in the manual here, and it says... Um, Trident missile so, are aimed and fired like masers, but they aren't affected by your deflectors. One missile will destroy a Jovian anywhere in the current quadrant. However, you have only 10 missiles and you cannot replenish your supply. So apparently not. <laughs> Green Raccoon says, Captain's Log, start date, November 29th, 2020. The USS Endeavor is patrolling Federation space looking for Klingons, actually Jovians. Unfortunately, we're suffering a severe lack of Shatner. Yeah, I understand that. Sorry about that. Not in this game. But it's supposed to be Shatner. It's supposed to be Kirk. I mean, it's just... It's just <laughs> It's the Endeavor instead. All right, we're, we've got to find the last... There's two Jovians left, so hopefully I can beat this. Let's go to 1, 6. Nothing here. No, wait. Nothing around me. Let's go to 4, 6. 4, 6. Nothing here. Let's go to 6, 6. Nothing here. Nothing around me. Let's go to six comma four. Nothing here. Oh, there's two. The both of them are hiding on seven comma three. Let's go there and kill the last two Klingons. 
Seven comma three. There they are. Nice. All right. So I, basically, I was able to use all my torpedoes. Hey, Hopster Keyman, how's it going? How you doing, man? Good to see you. So I've destroyed all seven Jovian ships. United Planet System is saved. My score is 255. I don't know what that means. It sounds pretty good. It sounds like uh, oh, maybe it's the maximum. It's like 0 to 255, but probably not. Um, here to play again. Yeah, so that was the easiest difficulty. I'm going to play one time on the, the f level 5 difficulty, which means that for sure I'm going to get my ass majorly kicked because you'll see why. Essentially, what's going to happen is these guys are going to fly all around the galaxy and blow up all the star bases before I can do jack squat. But let's just do it just for posterity. <laughs> destroy the fleet of 45 ships. before, And I got 10 missiles, remember, before they destroy the 8 bases. Good luck! You're going to need it, sucker! No way in hell. Okay. Uh, so let's go to 3, comma 1. They're already killing that base. Did I just shoot? Oh. Damn you! Oh man! <laughs> you see? <laughs> they already killed me! That's hard! <laughs> you don't need to type the commands? What do you mean you don't need to type the commands? What does that mean? What does that mean? What do you mean I don't need to type the commands? Should I use my mental interface? Oh, the commas. Okay, that's good to know. <sighs> I, this, like, this. Right, I'm gonna try one more time, but, like, I, I just, like,. I suck, apparently. I think this is going to be a quick stream tonight because this game is too hard. All right, one more time. Now even worse, 49 Jovian ships before they destroy the 10 bases. At least, it's funny because every game I played but with that when I was not streaming, I started off with Klingons already shooting me in the very beginning. At least that's not happening now. Oh my god. All right, one comma zero. It takes me a while to... F they, they already destroyed it. Well, that was interesting. All right, so I got, I got a bunch of them, but I lost the base. The good thing is I can get energy back anyway, so theoretically, even without any bases, I can still win, maybe, although I bet yeah, I lose the game if all the bases get destroyed. Uh, 7, 1... Before I can even get there, he's like, fucking... Excuse me. Alright, I got... That That was... Oh, no. Ion engine's inoperable? Ship energy, 18%. Oh, my God. How do I lower the deflectors? Uh... Uh... It's four. Four. Ship energy deflectors, ten. But I still can't move. <laughs> Ion engine's inoperable. Another tip, use the arrow keys. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> the problem is, while I'm using the arrow keys to move around, they're already blowing up the base. They, they, it's like, you ever play Wing Commander where they you have to do an escort mission? I should just stay here and guard this base, actually. But SOS base 6, comma 1. I can't win with the ion engines inoperable. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Ship's energy 25%? No, no way. I'm not going... Base 6, comma, six comma 1, you're on your own, I think. Yeah, base has been destroyed. I didn't have a lot of time to think about it there, did I? Oh, man. What do I do here? I can't move. I can, like, I can warp, but that would be that would be suicide. Yeah, the, the, it, look how fast this moves. It's crazy. Oh, my God. There's three Klingons on top of me, three Klingons below me. They're just waiting. Okay, I can move now. All right, all right. Here we go. Endeavor docked. By the time I get my energy back, the, the, the base will be destroyed. Uh, four hundred, four comma one. All right, let's go. Four comma one. Oh my God! Come on. No. <laughs> you see that I went in the wave it on purpose. <laughs> Zero comma three. No, what's what? Where am I? Oh, I just operable again. Energy deflectors. Oh my god! What happened? No, no, deflectors and operable. Oh my god! Ah, oh, I can move. God damn it! What the hell was that? 
Power up the deflectors. Yeah, I was trying. It's the deflectors and operable. Warp out. Okay, that was a good idea, I guess. Warp out. Okay. I just want to know, how is one ship... Is, does this ever happen in Star Trek? It's like, Captain, there's 45 Klingon warbirds decloaking off the starboard bow. It's like, okay, that sounds like a good matchup. Just just target them one at a time. Like, we can take 45 Klingon warbirds. Not a problem. Stu padding is always sort of stew rage. Sometimes you get lucky and warp into docking. Oh, that's interesting. Warp to 6 1, warp out. GP2K00, you have some good uh, good tips. Right, I'm going to try one more time. One more time, and then that's it. Joshua Levinsky, I wonder who you are. 44 ships, 9 bases. <laughs> All right. Uh, where am I? Let's go to B2. Oh, God. So they're already attacking like three, four bases. One comma zero. Oh, that's the wrong one. Two. One comma zero. Oh, they're not here anymore. Energy to deflectors? What? what the hell happened? Why did my deflectors start down? I th that didn't count. For some reason, my deflectors started down. All right, now they didn't start down. What happened? Oh, I warped. I warped by accident. They're they're like they're like faster than me. Ship energy fifty three percent. I I meant to do that. I, I somehow warped. Damn it. Set seven comma one. I mean, I should screw these guys just just defend the bases. And also, they can they can shoot around corners much better than I can. That's another problem. See, I, I can't compute, like, trajectories like that. Like, there's no way that, like, you see how he was able to just easily shoot me? Like, he obviously has Mr. Chekhov or some other competent phaser control guy arming the navigation. Like, how could I possibly hit him? I'm just going to know, like, okay, like, that's, uh, let's see, that's 182. I know it's 122.3 and then type that in really fast. Like, that's just not reasonable in my opinion. So, I keep on playing this, but I think the... The safe conclusion here is that level one I could beat because it's because it's easy. There's not enough of that, but like in the medium levels here, it's basically impossible. What does it say here in the manual? Um, I mean, I should say impossible, but impossible for me maybe. The higher the level, the more Jovians there will be, and the more rapid and powerful the, their attacks will be. Oh, okay, so it is faster actually. They, I guess they move faster the higher the level. The game doesn't move faster, but the Klingons move faster. Level one is very easy. Well, level 10 is extremely difficult, about 80 Jovians, and can only be won occasionally by the most experienced players. So, basically, I suck at this. I, I feel like that's probably all that I'm going to learn from this game, and all that anybody's going to learn from this game. So, I think it's going to be a short stream today, but I appreciate everyone joining, and... Uh, I, I guess this game was okay, but I think it's just too hard, in my opinion. If I would have bought this back in the day, I feel like I probably would have only played it on the very low difficulties, and then I probably would have, you know, been a little bit disappointed. I feel like some of the other Star Trek games, where you have, like, a chance, are more fun. There's just too much typing involved here. If I could use the arrow keys a little bit more, it might be a little bit better. If I had some auto-fire or something, you know, phasers locked on target or something like that, it might be a little more playable, but... If I had some torpedoes that got replenished, it might be a little more playable, but I think it's just really just too imbalanced, in my opinion. So, not the best, but, you know, still a good example of a Star Trek game. But, uh, thanks everyone for joining. Green Raccoon, again, thanks for subbing. Next Impossible Tiras City Game, Dungeons of Dagara. I have that right here, actually. It's not... It's not a Tiras City uh, game, it's a Coco game. It doesn't exactly count, but, uh... I need to figure out how to get that to play on my computer. I don't have a cartridge adapter for TRS-80 Coco carts yet, but we will We will definitely have more TRS-80 games in the this, this stream, as well as more Star Trek games and lots of other cool stuff. But thanks, Green Raccoon, for subbing, and uh, hope this was what you were looking for. But uh, regardless, there'll be more like this and more not like this. So we, we do try to do a nice eclectic mix of stuff here. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Jeremy. Thanks, GP2K00. Thanks, Hopser Key. Thanks, Green Raccoon. Thanks, everyone else who's watching later. Sub if you haven't done so already. We'll do this again later in the week. And uh, sorry for shaking back and forth so much. 
And uh, have a great evening, everybody. We'll do this again soon with hopefully a little bit of a better game. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Bye-bye.